So in this video, we are going to create a new Velocity Omniscript where we are going to create a contact record by collecting the contact uh, information like first name, last name, and then we create a contact record. So let's start with creating the Velocity Omniscript. So click New. So make sure you are always in the velocity when you navigate it here, you are the velocity omniscript designer. And then enter create a contact and put as new. Then create contact record. Then type create contact. Or you can put like create. And then we'll say contact new. Or let's say new contact. So and then save. So next one, so you can do we have to collect the information for the first name, last name. So let's say go to the actions. Before we go to that, we are going to group it. So we have to group it by step. Let's put that as a step. So if you, whenever you drag something to this structure, you can always go to the preview, preview and see what it's going to look like. For now, you can say, because you, you did not name it, so it says, it says as step one. Then go to the properties, and then you can always name this, create new contact. All because it says heavily no spaces create new contact and then create new so if we label we label i'm going to provide as such create new contact if i go and check the preview now you should definitely see that the create new contact so that is what go back to the property so this is what the field label is going to be visible in the preview section. Now we have to take the input. So what input parameters we need? We need to have collect the first name. So let's drag the text box here and put in the text box and then give the element name, first name, and the label, first name, then take one more text label, put it in the inside the step, so that each step is going to be like if I go to preview, so you can see that this is a one step. So this is which what what we are calling it as this step. Suppose if I create another step, so if I go back to the groups and then pull that in there, here is going to if I go and click on preview so i'm going to see the two steps now so for now we let's stick to one step let's create new contact so let's go back to that let, let me delete this one then then let's going back to our whole text field so here i'm going to name this as last name this is the last name and then this last Sorry. Only these two records I'm going to create. So, sorry, uh, this, this, uh, yeah, I, I added two text boxes with one first name and the other text box with the last name. Now, if I go back, so not, nothing is going to happen now because you're just collecting the information. But now we have to create a data raptor. So, to create a data raptor, then only we can store the information into the Salesforce object. So for that, so what I did, let me show you. Let me go back to the data raptor. So I can click on this new data raptor designer. So click on new. Data Raptor, there. 
create new contact and this is it we are going to load so input type is going to be json and then s object type is going to be the um, this is a salesforce object so from we taking the input from like uh, with, um, in the format of json and going to update the data into the salesforce so, so we selected that's why we selected a s object create new contact and then go go back to save once we did that now the first step is to add object to data after so once we're going to select with where as we are going to create a contact record so i'm going to select the contact record here so now the interesting thing here is now i have to add the field mappings so right now i don't have if i click new and then there is no input json specified here so that is what i'm going to uh, specify here for that i have to go and go to the velocity omniscript designer okay and go back to click on view full data json so if you scroll up so don't get confused edit as json but go back go to the up above the omniscript click on the view full data json once you do that so it's going to get bunch of information for you copy that or you can use this copy to clipboard click ok and go back to your data after and then you paste this input json here okay once you do that this let's delete this one so now let me add this see if i get i got this contact create new contact first name because this is what nothing but the create new contact and then it's a namespace and selecting the first name i will select this first name so what is the field name of contact this is the first name right so this is i'm going to select this 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 is a domain object field name so that we are picking up from contact object and then click you can minimize that now click on the another field that is a last name you can select create new contact last name so that is what this is a last name which we are collecting the information in the omniscript and then the same thing here last name so select the last name and then minimize this so now we are done with the data raptor so this is our new data raptor so now let's go back to your omniscript so because we collected the information here now we are going to add data raptor so let's go back to we take this click on actions so in, in the action we can pick data raptor post action so if you look here so go to this object so this is what when we created this is a post data raptor we created so that's why we have to because we are posting data back to the salesforce so click click on that drag and drop this data raptor so here give some meaningful name create new contact dr i will specify just that one but here i will put that create new contact data raptor it's fine you can do anything so here you are going to select the create new contact this is what we created the data raptor so let me select that one so you can you can also check that by clicking this link if you click on that link it opens up in a new tab so you can see all the mappings with respect to like if you go back to the fields you can see this mappings what we collected the data from velocity on the script so you can add a little done action to that oh where is that done action so right now we are not going to do anything simply mark that as done so especially this is the one which is going to create the record in the uh, salesforce so this is just i will for now i will leave it as something done and then if i go back to and I click on preview so this is what i'm going to see now so i can i can run this so let me run this one run this up to um, script config 
So if I click view, so this should create a contact record. So let me go back to this contact record and see whether that record is created or not. So go back, let me open up the contacts tab. Okay, this is the one which is created. So the same, you can see that this is a uh, uh, created first name, uh, first name and the last name. So this is a simple omniscript design. Uh, I've just added only first name, last name. So we'll further enhance this to add con uh, account and then uh, we'll add more, more, more details to this uh, script.